Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another one. Today's video we're going to be talking about the best sonar units for small boats and that includes kayaks, canoes, your little 14 foot John boat. Uh, I've been getting quite a few Facebook messages requesting kind of a, the best setup that not only has specific needs in order to find crappie, specifically crappie fishing, but also an optional portability uh, set up so they can use it for their kayak, maybe their pontoon, maybe another John boat that they have, or they wanna jump into a buddy's boat and be able to use this system. So these are the best units that I think uh, work great for small boats. So there's actually four needs, before we get into talking about the actual sonar units themselves, there's four needs that you need to look at. Does the sonar unit have this? First is the 2D sonar, almost every sonar unit has that. Uh, down imaging and side imaging. The fourth thing is mapping, and you might put that in the optional category rather than the need, depending on what your price range is. I'm looking at things that are about 300 to 500 bucks, both on the new market and the used market. The optional piece of mapping, some of these units, if you're gonna spend less than 350 bucks, you're probably not gonna have built-in mapping, and that's okay, uh, but they should have side imaging. I do get the question on Facebook quite a bit of, you know, here's a unit, what do you think of it? If it doesn't have side imaging, I personally wouldn't spend my own hard-earned money on that unit. So I can't recommend it to you. Um, it needs to have side imaging, down imaging, and 2D sonar. Mapping is a bonus. Uh, personally, if you can afford the mapping unit, I would highly recommend getting that. So one more optional thing besides the mapping uh, is portability. I've been getting quite a few questions on is there a unit out there that I can take from my kayak or canoe or small John boat and put it on my buddy's you know, pontoon or something like that. And there are options that I'm gonna talk about in this video. So now let's get into the units that I would recommend for the small boats. In no, no particular order, some of these units do have mapping, which probably could be a bonus if that's really something you cared about, but the rest of the unit, in terms of side imaging, down imaging, 2D sonar, they're pretty much all the same, except for when it comes to screen size. So the first I'd recommend is probably a, uh, a Garmin Striker 5SV or 7SV. Uh, these units are great side imaging, down imaging, 2D sonar, a lot of people use them. Uh, the one thing that these units don't have is the built-in mapping system, built-in Navionics. On a used market, you could probably get these for 350 bucks, 300 bucks, somewhere in there. Um, the big brother to these is the Echomap 7.3 SV, which also would be a really good unit for a smaller boat. Um, the problem with those, brand new, uh, even if they're on sale, they're going to be around six to seven hundred dollars. You might be able to find one on the used marketplace for under five hundred bucks. Uh, you got to really shop around Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, but I think you can find them for under five hundred bucks. So as far as Garmin goes, the Striker SV, which stands for Side View, those units are great. The five and seven inch screen. Um, or the Echomap 7.3 SV, which is a seven inch touch screen, and that does have Navionics mapping. The second unit, and again, in no particular order, the second unit I'd recommend would be the Humminbird Helix five or seven inch screen. Um, now the Humminbird units do have built-in Humminbird mapping. I can't remember if it's a Navionics or if they use Blake Masters. Um, they do have a micro SD chip, which you can add Navionics or Lake Masters chips or mapping chips to, which is pretty cool. Uh, the Humminbird screens, they're not touchscreen. Same with the Garmin Striker units, they're just regular thumb tab, but they are solid units. It's got the basic side imaging, down imaging, and 2D sonar. And again, it does have built-in mapping. Great unit. I think Helix 5, brand new, is about 500 bucks, give or take 50 bucks or so. This Helix 7, I wanna say is like 750, 800 dollars. But on the used marketplace, you can probably get those for about 200 to 300 dollars less than brand new, depending on how old they are. Um, these are great units because they also have the portability option. Um, the Humminbird all-purpose package, or it's like the all-water package, I'll link it right here. Uh, you can get a suction cup transducer, so you can actually uh, move from one boat to the next or move from a kayak to a pontoon uh, simply with this suction cup transducer. It's extremely portable, and that's something a lot of you actually messaged me about was having a portable option. The all-purpose or all-water package that Humminbird offers if you can find them, they're in high demand because people use them for ice fishing as well. Um, these are really good packages that give you the option to move from boat to boat, and they're super small and portable. And I think the all-purpose package also comes with a 12-volt battery, so it's extremely portable. You don't have to link it up to some boat battery. 
Um, you can just gotta remember to charge it at the end of each day. So that's a really good option as well for those small boats. And another package you can look at is the Lowrance Hook Reveal Triple Shot System. Now make sure it says triple shot. I know that's a mouthful, but it's the Lowrance Hook Reveal Triple Shot. Triple shot means it has side imaging, which is what they call side scan, down scan, down imaging, and 2D sonar. And I believe some of these units also have a built-in CMAP system, uh, which is Lowrance's version of mapping, kind of like Humminbird has Lake Masters. It's a really good mapping system, and they might even have Navionics. There is the triple shot seven inch screen and the triple shot five inch screen. The five inch screen is around 500 bucks. The seven I think is around seven or $800. Again, on the used market side of it, if you can get these units at two to three years old, you might be able to get $300 off these units. Um, they're not touch screen, but for what they are, they're really solid units with side imaging, down scan, 2D sonar capabilities. You can still find your brush piles, find your rock piles, find your weed edges. Um, and again, these units have side imaging. All these units I mentioned have side imaging. I cannot stress this enough. If you're gonna spend hundreds of dollars on a sonar unit, make sure it has side imaging capability at the very least. Um, but Lowrance offers a great lineup with the Hook Reveal Series. Just make sure it says triple shot. Um, this actually brings me to the point of making sure these units, if you're gonna shop on the used marketplace, make sure you understand what the letters on these units are. So on the Humminbird series, if it says SI, that stands for side imaging. It means it has side imaging, down imaging, and 2D sonar. On the Garmin side of it, if it has SV, it stands for side view, which means it has side view, clear view, which is their down imaging, and 2D sonar. Lowrance has SS, which stands for side scan, or on the Hook series, it says triple shot, which it has three different sonar capabilities, side scan, down scan, 2D sonar. So if you're on the used market side of it, on Facebook Marketplace Craigslist, be sure you're not getting scammed. Be sure you understand what you're buying. Um, a lot of these units on the used side of it, you can get them in the $300 to $500 range. Just make sure, again, buy something with side imaging. You guys see me use side imaging on a lot of my how to find crappie videos, and you're just able to, ca to cover so much more water with side imaging versus down imaging or 2D sonar. Um, the one, I. People ask me about these little four inch screens that are basically the size of your cell phone. Do not buy those. I know they're like 150 to 250 bucks and, and maybe that's all you can afford. I would, I would encourage you to look on the used marketplace for an older unit, four or five years old, and maybe you can get it for 200 bucks. Um, these four inch screens that only have 2D sonar or down scan, they're not really gonna do you much good, to be perfectly honest. Unless you're fishing a 10 acre pond and you can cover the whole pond in, in less than a morning, those units are not gonna help you. You're basically throwing 200 bucks down the drain, in my opinion. So five inch screens, seven inch screens, look for them on the used marketplace. I'm gonna link brand new ones down below, but if you can get them two to three years old, they're still really good units and you probably can get them for less than 500 bucks. Put them on your little John boat, your kayak, your canoe, these are great options that a lot of different manufacturers sell. That's my opinion for the best sonar units from each manufacturer for your John boat, your kayak, or your canoe. Um, if you've got any comments or questions about buying sonar units, new or used, post them in the comment section below, or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. I always appreciate hearing from you, and I always like helping you out when you're purchasing brand new sonar units or used sonar units. Appreciate you watching. As always, good luck on the water this year.